Jim Clausen from Sit Me and Sit is in studio, as is our best friend, really Ava, fun. as well. There she is. She's been sitting on that block just waiting for you to call <laughs> her over. And you have an amazing form of incentive for her. The, the right. command you were giving her just to get her to stay so obedient, such a great job. She's what a are you, girl. What are you telling us today that can help people who are trying to teach their dogs a few things? Probably one of the single best dog toys you can have for your dog is a Kong. Uh, it's an interactive toy, especially with dogs that like to chew. Now, the way I use them is different than, than a lot of people. A lot of people just throw them down and let the dog play with them. Mm -hmm. What I do is I'll fill them with a canned food or peanut butter, something that your okay. dog likes, and then I freeze it. Okay, you did bring, I saw you brought it in a, in a plastic bag this morning yeah. and everything, so it was so already frozen, ready to roll. It was already roll. frozen, ready okay. to roll. Yep, and what I do is this acts like a teething ring for a human baby. So yep. Yep. when puppies between the ages of about 13 to 14 weeks up to 10 months are cutting teeth, they want to chew and eliminate that pain in their mouth. These little Kongs will help numb their gums. Now, if there's something in there, like you can see Ava, there's canned food in here. She really wants this. So she'll play with this thing for hours and hours and hours. It's kind of a puzzle for her, it, it looks is. like. It is. It's going to take her a while to get that out. It keeps the dog's mind stimulated. It makes it easy for the dog to do the right thing. Plus, when that rubber is ice cold, it'll numb their gums. When it numbs their gums, the pain goes away. You have a happy dog. <laughs> you have a happy dog, right. They're not chewing on your tables or any of that other stuff. Now, one of the things I had asked you before uh, in one of your visits to the studio, you know, you have your treats, you have your incentives for the dog. Obviously, food is a big motivator. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure that you're not feeding your dog too much? You don't want an, over, an overweight That's dog. Right. So how do, you, how do you balance out to make sure they still have the incentive they need? So your veterinarian will talk to you about how much food your dog should mm -hmm. get. And so what I do is I divide that up through the day. So let's say my dog's supposed to get three cups a day. Well, I'll get one cup in the morning. I'll take one cup and I'll measure that out for treats. I might put oh, in a little sandwich okay. baggie, or in this case, I put it in the Kong. Okay. Now, even though that Kong looks pretty big, it can only hold, this particular Kong can hold probably a half a can of actual dog food. Some of the Kongs that are much smaller can only hold about two tablespoons. So it doesn't add too much to your dog's day, but you can measure that out. And so that way they can get it throughout the day without getting overweight. All right. And that, and that makes sense too, because even if it's not a treat, it may just be your regular dog food. That's right. That's not, uh, you know, in the, the bag of doggy mm -hmm. treats. Makes sense then, I guess. Just hold, <laughs> hold off on some of it That's to right. give them throughout the day. So yeah. something I need to try there as well. So <laughs> the toys, the Kong, the best, best one you'd recommend. What would That's be right. second place? Second would be an interactive toy, much like a kibble nibble, a tug a jug, or a buster cube. Something that they have to interact with to get the dry kibble out. In this case, I use this one for all the puppies that are teething. I recommend everyone have one or two Kongs in their freezer ready to go. And then a different interactive toy. We've seen them in segments before. Mm -hmm. Buster Cube, Kibble Nibble, Tug of Jugs, Bob Lots, any of those things. Remember the ones that rhyme, basically. Those are going to be good <laughs> ones, it sounds That's like. Right. All right. Thanks so yeah. much. Jim Klassen from Sit Mean Sit. We always post his tips and videos and advice at IdahoOnYourSide.com as well.